method centering that, that these steps of rational use every day. This is an abstract mathematics class and will require patience and strong work ethic. Patience and strong work ethic. So, key thing right there. You need to be patient with yourself, number one. Okay? And you need to work hard. It's, like I said, it's not easy, but if you put in the time, it pays off. Okay? And you're going to learn some cool things. It's really fun because it's different thinking than what you're going to be used to. You probably, a lot of you probably have never thought like this before. Uh, a lot of things we're going to see in this class. Okay? Off to the right, class expectations. This is my favorite, one of my favorite quotes. It's from a guy named Jocko Willink. Okay? Jocko Willink is an ex Navy SEAL. Okay? He talks about how to be disciplined. And this is our class expectation is to be disciplined because discipline is the key to every other thing in your life that will help you succeed. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and read this one. It says, discipline, the root of all good qualities, the driver of daily execution, the core principle that overcomes laziness and lethargy and excuses. Discipline defeats the infinite excuses that say, not today, not now, I need to rest. So when you have those excuses pop in your head, I was like, I don't want to do that today. I don't want to do that right now. I need to rest. Okay, when you get those kind of excuses in your head, you start thinking, okay, how can I be disciplined? How can I say, I'm not going to take a break. I'm going to keep working hard. I'm going to do better. Okay, that's what that's saying. What you need is self-discipline. Self-discipline discipline at the very term implies comes from, implies comes from the self, you. Okay? To have self-discipline, discipline, it comes from within. So if you don't have it yet, this is what you're going to do. It comes when you make a decision to be disciplined, when you make a decision to be better. You guys are taking a summer program. That's a lot of discipline, right? You made a decision to come to the edge of have some fun this summer, and learn some things. There's only, what do you get, this is going to the seventh grade, right? Yes. 37th graders out of the whole Iron County School District, you guys are disciplined. Come and get better and learn more and have fun this summer. So you guys already made a decision there. When you make a decision to be better, when you make a decision to do more, to be more, self-discipline requires, or it comes when you decide to make a mark on the world. If you don't think you are disciplined, it's because you have not decided to be disciplined yet. So if you have, if you don't think you're a disciplined person, you can still make that decision to be disciplined. So make the decision, make the commitment, okay? So like I said, that's from a Navy SEAL. Hey, that guy, he, he fought in Iraq, and he's been through a lot in his life. Um, I really like him. Look him up. He's got a lot of cool stuff to read about discipline. But that's my expectation for this class, is if you guys are disciplined, you guys are going to be able to do well in this class. You're going to get through the hard things that we're going to talk about, and you're going to have fun. But it does take some discipline. It's not always going to be, you know, a ton of fun all the time. It, you know, some things are just going to be hard, and you just got to work through it. You be disciplined. Say, I'm going to get my homework done tonight, or during my study hall. When you guys go to study hall, you should be working on stuff from all your classes, right? Right? Just work and work and work. Get stuff done so you don't get home. Um, assignments. Okay, we have three assignments in this class. We have exercises, quizzes, and exams. Exercises will happen like every day. We'll do a lot. And we'll try to get like half of them done in class, and we'll get. You guys do the whatever we don't get done in class, you do at home. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Exercises will be posted in Canvas. Who does not have? Who is anyone new to the Iron County School District? You're new. Were you here this year? No. Right, during the school year. Uh, yes. You were. Okay. So everyone, you guys all have a Canvas, right? Canvas account. Did anyone on Canvas this year? When you guys were in school? Raise your hand if you were on Canvas this year. He wasn't in the Iron County District. He went to the school. He went to the Iron County District. Okay, raise your hand if you had a, a, a 6-0-0 number, though, this year. You typed it into Canvas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Your ID number is 6 0 You guys know what I'm talking about? Okay, so what you're going to do in Canvas, and those of you who don't have it, I'll get you connected. Okay, in Canvas, the same Canvas you guys use all school, all year long, you guys have used it all year, that's where you guys go for all your classes. You guys talked about that in any of your classes yet? Or is this the first class of the day? No, this is the second, but we didn't talk about it. Okay, 
So Canvas is where you guys can go to see what your assignments are. It's the only thing you have to go there for is say, oh, I can't remember what assignments I'm supposed to do. But if you pay attention in class, you, you'll know what to do, okay? So you don't have to go to Canvas. Canvas is Right. You only go there to see what you have to get done. Does that make sense? Yes. And, you're, and you'll have a little homework assignment in there tonight. Just a little one. Okay? So same campus you guys use for your classes during the school year, you're going to be using it here. But you don't have to use it very much other than to look at your assignments. And then we're going to put your grades in there. Okay? Yes? Are the assignments going to go on Canvas already? Did you only do this one? Nope. They're going to be in your workbook. Everyone got their workbook? Yep, the binder. Well, your logic binder. Let's get that out right now. Problem solved. You guys don't have to turn into anything on Canvas, no. This is supposed to be problem solved. We, we switched your schedule, so the schedules in your binder are wrong. We're getting you guys a new one. And your tabs are going to be different. Tabs? So, like, it's going to be the wrong order. Hey, go to your logic tab. Go to your logic tab. Okay? Let me see if I answer your question. Okay. Yeah. Quick. We'll talk about it on Wednesday. Okay? All right. So, you guys have your logic workbook. That's where we'll go for your assignments. You do not, now listen closely, everyone's eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. You, the reason I'm mentioning Canvas is so if you're gone, you know where to look for things and what you're supposed to do. Do you turn anything in on Canvas? No. No. You don't turn anything in there, okay? It's just for you guys to see what you have to get done. Yes. Um, if you're gone and you know what to do, can you like email you like a picture or something to grade? Sounds good. Yep, my emails will be attached. You just said in Canvas through announcements. Yep, go through an email in Canvas. Okay. All right. So we got your exercise, your quizzes. Quizzes will be. We'll have three of them. We'll have one probably on Monday next week, and then there'll be three exams. We'll have one at the end of June, one mid July maybe, or beginning of July, for a couple weeks. I, I don't know when they all are. They're back here somewhere. Doesn't really matter. You guys will be ready when we get there. Okay? Grading. Okay? You guys, if you get your assignments done, this is the thing. I'm grading you on getting your assignments done, not necessarily correct. So when I give you an assignment, you go home the next between the class period and the next class period, get it done, get it done in the study hall. I don't care when you get it done, just get it done before you come back to class next time, okay? If you get it done, it's 10 points. If you get it done late, so you don't get it done by the next day, that's five points. If you're gone, make sure it's done when you come back. Make sense? So 10 points or five points or zero points. So if you don't get it done at all, ever, it's zero points. Make sense? Okay. Quizzes and exams. We'll talk about, if you guys don't do well on your quiz or exam, we'll talk about how we need to remediate that when we get there. We're not gonna worry about that today. Does that make sense? Okay, we'll worry about fixing it later when we get to that point. Um, learning objectives. I'll let you guys read through all that stuff in a just, well, just, just a second. Getting help. Okay, that's the next big one. Getting help. If you need help, ask for it. If you're gone, please refer to the assignment list in Canvas or the course calendar, which is on the back of this paper, course calendar. Okay. Um, you have one week to make up any missing work. Quizzes and exams are meant to show your knowledge, not, not your neighbor's knowledge, so don't cheat. Is what I'm implying there. Okay, that's part of being disciplined. If you're prepared and you're disciplined, because you prepared because you were disciplined, right? You don't have no reason to cheat. There's no reason to cheat if you prepare that. Um, if you get below 70% of any quiz exam, you may turn in corrections to explain what you missed and why to receive credit for the questions you missed. This process will be discussed more when we get there. We're not there yet, okay? Learning objectives. Who will read our first bullet point for learning objectives? Go for it. The ability to understand and apply logic, logical statements, Logical evaluations valid and invalid are mirrors, truth tables, rules of infinite uh, paradoxes, and elementary and fixed set theory. Who knows what any of that is? <laughs> Good. We're going to learn. Next one, go. Yes. What? Will you read the next one? Oh, yeah, sure. 
Which one's the next one? The ability. The ability to understand and utilize the universe within a century. Okay, next bullet point. Go. Okay, um, knowledge of the ba basic concept of set theory. Okay, good. Next one. An understanding of the use of mathematics to symbolize, symbolically represent ideas. Okay, can you do the next one for us? The ability to communicate using design symbols and terminology is mathematics. Next, is that? An increased capacity for both critical and divergent thinking as well as an inductive and deductive reasoning. Very good. An increased ability to analyze and communicate their thinking processes. Okay, so that's the stuff we're hoping to get out of this class. A lot of stuff you probably don't understand. Some of you might understand some of it. If not, that's fine. What we're going to do now, though, the rest of the class period, if we get done early with this, we're going to play a game. Okay? So I've got a pre test here. This is what we got to do. So we have get out a pencil. I'll write something on the board. So you guys get out a pencil, put everything else away real quick.
right? So don't get sad. Don't look at it and say, oh, I don't know how to do that. If you don't know how to do it, skip it, go to the next one, and then come back to it at the end. Okay? Give it, now here's the key though. We don't just skip it and quit. If, if we're going to skip it, make sure we at least try something. Give it your best guess, so an educated guess, right? So we're not just skipping it to skip it and, and, and do not write IDK on anything. That's not a thing. IDK is not a thing here. Okay? So we're going to try doing our best. That's all we got to do. Try our best and we're disciplined in class. Okay? Um, for to, this is what we're doing today. Hey, okay, look. In class, we have a paper pretest. What I need you to get done tonight, log into Canvas. You guys should all be able to walk into your Ryan County School District Canvas and see uh, uh, an invitation for a logic class. I need you to go find that invitation and accept it. If you can't, you'll either try to email me at this address. That's my first name, Wyatt. You have any Wyatt's in here? No. I have a friend named Wyatt. Your friend's cool. Yeah, oh, he's no, he's not. Oh, dang. <laughs> I don't like him at all. I don't know Do why. Do we have any does. Packers fans in here? What's a Packer fan? Go Pack Go. What's a Packer? It's the football. <laughs> <laughs> it's the football. They're the Dodgers. I don't even care about the Packers. He probably is going. Okay. So, paper pretest. We get that done here. Then you need your Cam's pretest done. You can't get to it. We'll talk about it tomorrow, so don't stress if you can't find it. Make sense? Okay, yeah. one, one question. I don't have a computer. Because we'll our, talk about our, it. Our school took it from us, so. We'll so chat about it. Yeah. We'll work around it, okay? So it's study balls when you end up doing it. Okay? So if you guys don't have a computer at home, we'll end up getting it done in study hall eventually, okay? So that's why everything in this class is going to be turned in on paper. Yes. Uh, Questions, quick. Yes. Yes. We'll get it the pretest? Yeah, you can do it on the phone. Is the pretest digital? Yes, it's multiple choice, five questions. Yes. Okay? The pretest is only five questions. Now, the paper pretest is more than five questions, so we need to start it. Ready, go. Ready, go. Those of you who don't have one yet, we'll get one, okay?